Having a sheath knife with you when you're out in the woods is a traditional thing and a sensible thing to do. It's a wood culture. We have wooden houses, we have woods around us, mountains and lakes. And the tradition of carrying a sheath knife with you starts with the youngest children and everybody has one. In our family we have quite a few and we've even made a few ourselves. So to get you into the spirit of it I'm going to try and sing a kved which is a, a song called Sven Svane. Sven Svane han gange skjei et stykke ut på Der møtte da han en innvandringsmann Og hørte nå min vandring hva jeg spørger deg Om du på de spørsmålene kan svare En rundaste jul Och vem sänger höjest Utav alla kreatur Och våra då vitare En svana En rundaste jul Och englar sänger höjest Utav alla kreatur Och månen den är vitare än svana Sven Svane tog gullringen ut av fingeren i Og ga så den vandringsmann for svaren Og dermed skiltes både se Karan It's pretty low tech, that's just a little bit bound round there to keep the bits together, two holes, that's ready through and then a piece of copper that's riveted and to make that rivet I just took a piece of copper I've got some of this old school copper I think it's electric I think it's telephone cable in fact it's actually hardened copper so I annealed it first just kind of get it bright cherry red clipped it in some mold grips like that and bang that into a rivet head, cut off the bit that had a flange and and then riveted it in situ after putting it through a small hole. Very simple, low tech. This is 
Scale, seal skin. That's not something that I hunted on and um, tanned. I don't know how much seal hunting goes on now. It's a little bit. It's a cull really because the numbers get a bit, a bit high in certain areas. I mean, you have to. People here tend to trust the science scientists when they say that the cull is needed. And who am I to say they're wrong? I don't know the ins and outs of it. It's not taken from farming, and it's uh, the animals would be killed whether you were using the fur or not. So. It's made from from reindeer antler or reindeer bone. I don't know if it's actually is antler. It might just be bone. I don't know. Anyway, it's from Sami land, which is the Sami are the people that live there. The reindeer herders that live in the far north. They live here in Norway, but they also live in Finland and Sweden as well. And they're a very similar lifestyle to many people that live in Russia too. Sami. Quite a lot, a lot of the kind of bushcrafty type things that we have in Norway come from Sami culture. 